Response to the civil unrest across San Luis Obispo County and nationwide over the death of George Floyd, a new task force is being formed in the city of San Luis Obispo. KSB News reporter Asia Gore joins us live in San Luis Obispo with details on this. Good morning, Asia. Well, good morning, Christina. The San Luis Obispo City Council is now looking into assembling that diversity task force as well as how to spend the money set aside for it in the city budget. Thousands of protesters stormed the streets of San Luis Obispo County this week, demanding change and calling for justice in the wake of George Floyd's death. U.S. Census data from 2019 estimates 2 percent of San Luis Obispo County's 283,000 residents are black, over 88 percent white. We have heard over and over again at rallies and at marches that people of color do not feel welcome here. And it is time to step up and be willing to do the difficult and necessary work of changing that. San Luis Obispo Mayor Heidi Harmon did not respond to our request for comment, but announced in a Tuesday press conference plans to fund a diversity task force. In order to create a community that is welcoming, equitable, and kind. The City Council is designating $140,000 for the Diversity Task Force. The funds drawn from the city's $695,000 budget surplus, which was already depleted due to COVID-19. Councilwoman Erica Stewart calls it a worthy investment. Having diversity, more diversity is good for the economy. It's good for society. It's good for the community. And I think we have to sometimes appeal to someone's heart and sometimes appeal to someone's checkbook. Stewart and Harmon are spearheading the initiative, and while it's too soon to know exactly what action the task force will take, Stewart envisions diversity experts, expansion of community programs and resources, and partnerships with police. You can't have reform if you don't have everyone at the table that's involved. Stewart says the structure of the task force is a work in progress, but the goal is clear. Making people safe, making people welcome, making people included, and, you know, not having to fear for your life because you have a higher percentage of melanin in your in your skin and you have to fear because there's a police that has, has pulled you over or just walking next to you and the immediate fear of what's going to happen next should not have to be that fear in our community. Stewart says the $140,000 budgeted for the diversity task force could change depending on the needs identified by her and Mayor Harmon. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Thanks, Asia. There's no set date for when the council will launch its task force.